Hi guys, this is Conspiracy from SurrealPSD.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to put together a flyer preview for clients. So standard event flyers usually have two sides, there are a lot of one-sided flyers as well, uh, but for this demonstration I'm going to be showing you uh, a two-sided A5 flyer. So this is for Jungle Syndicate, I've been working with these guys for quite a long time now, nice fun concepts uh, that we work with. So this is the front of the flyer, and this is the back. So um, it's a simple event flyer, and what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to pull this together in one file to send to the client. Okay, so this video tutorial is as much about shortcuts as it is about the technique that we're learning here today. Um, shortcuts really make your workflow loads more efficient. So... What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to show you twice. I'm going to show you um, and explain, and then I may show you uh, the, the fast way, but we'll see how it pans out. Okay, first off, what we want to do is we want to create a new file. So throughout this entire process, I'm going to be using shortcuts. It's going to be quite fast, but it's a video, so you can pause it and go back anytime you want. So let's get started. Um, Command N. And we're going to choose a preset international paper a4 hit ok you want to go image image rotation 90 degrees clockwise you want to command i that will invert to black go back to the front command i select all and command a select all shift command c copy merged go back to this one command v to paste Go to the back, Command A to select all, Shift, Command and C to copy merged. Go back to that document, Command V. And you have two layers directly on top of each other. Now then, at this point, you want to Shift, hold down Shift and click. So both of these layers in the stack are highlighted, Command T. And then holding down Shift will maintain the proportions. You scale both of them at the same time. And so they're within the boundaries of that file. And then I'll move that over there. And then double click to apply. And the back usually goes to the right. So um, to make the nudge go faster, what we want to do is just move that across. There, there's one thing that you can do. You can go Command A, uh, hit V for the move tool. And this one here, you just click on that and it will move it flush to the right. And then using the arrow keys on the keyboard, hold down shift and that will make it nudge faster instead of going really slow. So there's the two of them together. Um, we want these to become one layer. Command E will merge down. And then hit the C tool for crop. Pull those in so it tightens it up somewhat. What this does is it creates a nice black border. Hit enter to apply. Go command A, hit V, and then align to the middle, horizontal, and then the middle vertical. That means that is perfectly positioned right in the center. Command D, and then command E to merge down. That file size will be quite large, so I like to trim it down a bit. Alt, Command and I will bring up image size. For the client preview, usually um, 10 centimeters on the longest length is fine. Hit enter for OK. And then Command S to save. And I'll just call that JS. Got JPEG um, as the file preview. Um, 10 is fine. Hit OK and it's done. So that's the um, the fast breakdown with explanation. Um, once you've got used to this, if you've got a faster computer, you can have this entire process done in under 60 seconds. Um, let me see if I can do that a bit faster now. Command N, international paper, A4, image, rotate 90 degrees clockwise, Command I to invert, Command A, Shift Command C, Copy merged, Command V to paste. Uh, that took the back, and then we'll take this one, Shift Command C, and then Command V for that one. 
Select both of them with Shift, Command T to transform. Scale whilst holding Shift. Hit Enter. Command A. Hit V for move. Flush that to the right. That's both of them selected. And then that one can go there. Nope, that one there. And that one there. Hold down Shift and use the arrow keys will make it nudge faster. Command E to merge down. Move it into position. Hit C for the crop tool. Tighten it up a bit in terms of framing. Hit enter. Command A. Hit V. Uh, horizontal center, vertical center. Command D. Command E to merge down. Command S to save and then we'll overwrite that one there replace that okay done and dusted prior to using shortcuts this process would have taken quite a long time um, so what I just want to give you today is the whole idea of if you get used to working with shortcuts you'll become a lot more efficient and when you're working freelance time is money so the more previews that you can create in the least time possible, uh, the more time you have for other activities and doing more artwork. So I hope you found that tip useful guys. I'll see you at the next tutorial.